Welcome! Power BI has released a new feature in Preview which would allow a user to filter the columns of a table using the new parameter fields option. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can filter the columns of a table. Previously, it was relatively straightforward to filter on rows, but the new feature allows filter on columns as well. This might be quite helpful if, for example, person A, when looking at the report, needs to see all the columns. However, every month they send to person B a less detailed table as they are only interested in certain figures. Here we have some finance data in this sales report and I'm going to begin by just putting some standard slicers onto the page. So to begin with, across in the visualisation section, I click on Slicer. And into this slicer, I am going to select date, month from the field section. And I will also add a second slicer. And into that slicer, I will put items. So again, from the field selection, I'm just clicking on the item. I will just quickly do some formatting to the slicer. So in the format visual section, under slicing settings, I'm going to change it to horizontal. I will remove the slicer heading. And then I am just going to drag this so that they are all in one row. There we go. Now let's look at how these function. So for instance, Say, for example, I just wanted March figures. All I need to do is click in the March box and the table updates. And it updates by reducing the number of rows. I can do the same for items. Say I just wanted to see the figures for item E. I can click on E. And again, the rows filter. I can also do both, clicking on E and the month. Let's clear these filters. Let's now have a quick look at our data to understand how these row slicers operate. So if we go to the data tab, you can see that the dates are all in one column and the items are all in one column. Hence, when we put a slicer onto the page, it filters the rows. For instance, in the item slicer, it would go to this column item. And if you selected A, it would remove all the rows which don't contain the item A. Let's go back to our report view. I, however, would like to reduce the number of columns. And to do that, I'm going to use the new parameter fields option. To find that, we go to modeling and we see new parameter. And if we do the click down, we will see fields. Now, if you are not seeing these options, it may be that the feature is still in preview as it is when I'm recording this video. To show this feature, we just go to file, go to options and settings, options, and then we go down to preview features. All you need to do is make sure the item called field parameters is ticked. Then press OK. You may need to close and reopen Power BI for the change to take effect. Back to our report. So we're in the modeling tab, new parameter, we select fields. In the box which appears, I will rename my parameter. I'm going to call it select column. And into this box, I am going to drag the fields which are in this table. So I click on the finance drop down. I want month. So I go to date, date hierarchy month and drag it in. Then I want item number sold, sales, cost of sales, gross profit, indirect costs, 
and profit before tax. Now, it is important the order you set these up because this is the order that the columns will appear in our table that we will filter. If you would like to change the order of the items, it's very easy to do. It's just a simple click and drag. And then I can move that back again. At the bottom left hand corner, you will see this option saying add slicer to this page. And I want to leave that ticked because I am looking to create a slicer. Click create. And my slicer appears. I will make a few minor formatting changes to my slicer. So I click on the slicer in format visual. I want the option to be able to select all. So in the selection setting, I will change it to show select all and turn off the multi select. At the moment, if you were to select any of these options, nothing would happen with regards to the table. We therefore need to amend the table. So click on the table, then delete all of the columns that are there currently. Into the column section, what we now do is go to our new parameter and the one that I've called select column, I just click and drag into the columns field. And there we go, our table reappears. Now, if you were to go across to your filter and click select all, then in our example, our second person didn't want to see all of these columns. They weren't interested in say cost of sales. So if I untick cost of sales, that column should disappear from my table. They also don't care about gross profit. So again, on tick gross profit and the column disappears and indirect costs can be removed as well. There you go. You've now got a reduced view of the table. This table can still be filtered by the row slicers. So for instance, if we click on month March, the table still updates and say we wanted to see again the figures for item E, clicking on E and the table updates. So now you have the ability to filter by both column and by row. One point to note is that if you are looking to reduce the number of columns but wish to keep them in the same order, it's maybe preferable to start with the full table and then reduce the columns as I showed previously. One thing that can happen is if you unselect select all, noting at the moment that number sold is in third position, if I then just start adding to the table, such as month, item, sales, profit before tax, and then click number sold, number sold ends up after profit before tax. It is no longer in position three, which it was previously. Now this may be preferable if person B wants the columns in a different order from that which you prefer to see them, but which option you choose will depend entirely on your personal situation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to hear more from me, please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.